In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a custom scale line here. It'll be at the very bottom here, having these tick marks, and of course, have some extra space here. And considering these additional spaces here on certain parts, let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to add the space between the X scale and the chart area in Chart.js 4. First of all, before we start, we need to make sure we have the boiler template, which you can find here on Chart.js3.com getting started. Once you're on this link, and this link you can find in the description box, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to support the channel and get source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. You can find the link as well in the description box. And same with the Discord channel, the invite is in there as well. So, what we're going to do now is start to work on this item. To do this, I'm going to use all the tricks I can use for the scale and afterwards we're going to create a custom plugin for one specific item so let's start to work here and what i want to do now is first remove these grid lines on the chart area so what i'm going to say here on the grid then i'm going to say here uh, for the grid we can say here draw on the chart area and we set this on false. By default, it is set on true. And if we do that, you can see here, these uh, vertical lines that are connected to the x-axis are now removed. But of course, you can see here, I like to keep these in place. And what I want to do as well is convert this into a line chart so that they will be nicely underneath each other. So you can see the label and this all working. All right, so once we did this, the next thing what we need to do here is making these tick marks, that's what they're called, more thicker and give it a color so i'm going to say comma i'm going to say here tick width i'm going to give it three pixels next what i want to do is i want to give it a color as well so i say tick color and make it blue for example or any color you want but you can see here now we have a nice blue color make it quite solid all right so once we did this the next thing what i want to do is i want to have some space here i want this zero to be shown but underneath there there should be basically some additional space. For that, I'm going to use a trick. So what I'm going to do is here on the Y scale, I'm not going to say here begin at zero, no. I'm going to say here a min, and the min will be minus two, for example. And the reason why is now I have like this additional space exactly matching calculated of every of these segments. But what I want to do is I want to hide all of these here, of course. So let's start to work on that. So the first thing what I will say here, grid again, and then we can say here for the grid, um, let's see, what do we need to do for the grid, or maybe specifically the border, because I want to remove the border first. Border, say here, display false, save, refresh. And once I did that, as you can see here, the border is being removed. However, if you look very carefully, you still see here this extended length here, and the reason why because this is a part of the tick marks like this, but then here on these lines here. So what I'm going to do is I want to remove those as well. And so those are not in the border, but in the grid. I'm going to say here, um, draw ticks. I'm going to say here, false. And if I'm not mistaken, it's not draw ticks. I think it's ticks in itself. Ticks, false, refresh. All right, no, that is not the case. Then, uh, let's see here, then probably it should be draw ticks. All right, it should be draw ticks, but I do realize something, and let me just explain. If I do this, look what will happen. We remove that additional space. What I do want is to have still a lot of space here between. So I realize that I should not have here uh, draw ticks, but what I want to do with the ticks I want to change the thickness of it. So I'm going to say a tick width, and we put it on zero pixels. And by doing that, we get now some space here, but it is not anymore visible. You could also say the tick should get the color of transparency or white, so you will not notice it as well. So this is just a trick or a hack, cosmetic way to do it. And that looks quite decent. All right, so now we have that here. What I want to do next is, uh, let's see if we can probably remove 
this bar here or this or this line here so what I'm going to do here on the X scale I'm going to put a comma I'm going to say here border and you can say here display files as well no need for this as well uh, border has been displayed as false all right and then I guess that should be more than enough but now I need to push this down as well or I need to hide this line here I guess that is the one I need to do so what I'm going to do here uh, on the Y so what I want to do I guess in this case I have to figure out how to remove this one I'll do it later on I want to remove this here so what I'm going to do is this one should be gone and everything else should be staying so what I'm going to say here comma ticks and then I'm going to play around with the ticks by using a callback and in this callback I'm going to use the value you can say here index and the ticks value basically but I'll be only using if I'm not mistaken the value and what I want to do is quite simple I'll say here if or let me just give you a console log so you can see what is going on with this value if I refresh this all right you can see they're disappearing but we're getting here these values and what I can do now is if I have a negative two what I want to do is return nothing and else we will return something so I'm going to say here if value equals or is not equal strict to negative two in that case return a value and what I will say here because that was specifically the question links and then I'm going to do here concatenation plus and add in the value save that and then as I refresh you can see here now it starts to work nicely and we even get this nice space and this is really beautiful because that line here without me realizing it now it will just disappear automatically because it doesn't recognize that tick beautiful so it's hard chart just when it recognizes it automatically however we need to make sure we have this line from here or more specifically from this point here all the way to the end so how do we do this well what we have to do here is create a plugin so I'm going to say here uh, let's see comma plugins and if you're wondering why this one this one should be the option so after the options we have the plugins this is an array and we can just call this our scale line or something like that give it anything you want I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to say here uh, slash slash this plugin block constant scale line equals and then we have here ID the scale line and then when would we like to draw this in this case I will draw this before the data sets uh, draw and the reason why is I want to have first this the lines of the grid and everything and then on top of that the data set will uh, bars or lines basically the line chart in this case that should be on top of all of these grid lines so then I'm going to say here chart arcs plugin options and I'm going to say here object destructuring if you don't know what this does please check out my video on the saying charges object destructuring all we need in here the ctx and i probably need here the chart area and specifically left right and bottom so let's put in those and we might need to add more but we can check it later on or remove the ones we don't need so what i want to do here is basically just draw a simple line from this point all the way to here to do that I need to give it a color as well so first of all I say ctx.save to save all variables above then I want to give this line a color I want to say ctx.stroke style we can give it the official color that chart yes uses RGBA 102 comma 102 comma 102 and then here if I'm not mistaken 0 0.2 or 0 0.5 all right so then what I want to do here is to give it a thickness so in this case I want to make it extra thick let's say 3 pixels so I'm going to say ctx.line width equals 3 pixels and then now we can start to work on drawing the item from here all the way to there so how do we do this well remember we have the chart area we have here the left and right and the bottom and all these position here the bottom is basically this part here and I realized we don't need this part, but we need to go a bit more down. 
that amount of pixels here. By default, the tick marks are 8 pixels. So what we're going to do is we're going to test it and play around with that. So what I'm going to say here is, let's draw the line. I'm going to say ctx.begin path, meaning I'm going to draw a line, but this line will not bleed over to any other parts of chart.js. So this is an individual line, new line, disconnected from anything else. So then I'm going to say here, ctx.move to, which is the starting point of our line, which is an x and y variable. In this case, I'm going to select the left, which would be here somewhere. So I'm going to say here left, and then I'm going to say for the y, I want here the bottom. So I'm going to just grab that first. Once we did this, the next one will be the line 2, ctx.line 2, and this will now define this is the dot, and now here's the connecting line. And I just want to go to the very right side here, but still it's a straight line, so I say bottom. Once I did that, I'm going to say ctx.stroke, save, and then we can say here ctx.restore to undo all above. Let's save that. There we are. As you can see here, this works, but you might say we need to be at the very bottom. So what we have to do is we have to move this down. I know it's about 8 pixels. The tick marks by default, if you define the tick mark length, which is the tick length of a different value, then you need to assign that together. Here, of course, the tick marks, whatever the length is. But in this case, it is 8 pixels, if I'm not mistaken. So let's try and do that. And there we are. So you can see here now, we are here. But if I look very carefully, let's make this black, and then you will see what I mean. Ctx.stroke style equals black. And you can see here we're missing a few pixels. This side needs to be fixed still. And here we should touch at least the very end of this. So what I can do here is probably for the right side, maybe plus one pixel. Not sure if that is sufficient enough. Slightly not. I would say maybe with plus two pixels. And there we are. Well, maybe one and a half, I think, would be more than sufficient. Let's do it like that. Absolutely perfect. All right. What about here? Well, here, what I want to do is I want to go to this point here. So I want this, like the tick mark, being covered here. So what I can say here is this negative 8. Why negative 8? Because as we go up, or as we go more to the right side, it will be higher. And if we go more to the left side, it will be 0. So negative 8 will be more to the left side and as you can see here there we are that works absolutely phenomenal and i guess we're done here let's remove this and make this back to this solid and i guess give it a solid gray so it's easy to spot save there we are and now we have this up and running beautiful and that's it